Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 20th coaching log on the Uclan Coaching Experience module. Um, today I'm going to talk about my reason for being. A um, bit of a deeper question into myself and you know why I do what I do. You know, my, my reasons for it, how I do it and who do I do it for. Um, them kind of questions that I'm going to ask myself. Because um, I feel like it's really important that we look deeper into why we do our 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 hobbies the way that we do them and our why do we go about things the way we do as well um so i'm going to start off by asking myself why do i do it why do i coach um why am i on a coaching degree um and the surface answer is for the love of the game you know i love football it's everything i've done since i was younger since i was i can remember it's been kicking a ball um and developed into the other aspect of football, which is the coaching side of it, went to my latter years, going into 16, um, started to discover the coaching side of it and really enjoy that part. Um, I also have a real passion for improvement uh, within football. You know, I've always wanted to do well in football, no matter if it's playing, coaching, learning, um, you know, helping others. It, it, I really have a deep passion for improvement. Um, and I feel like that passion for improvement is what makes me strive on. That's why I do, you know, strive to be better and always look to improve. Um, I enjoy challenge my, challenging myself. Um, I like being pushed out of my comfort zone because I feel like if I'm in my comfort zone for too long, it becomes very, very stale and boring. Um, and those new challenges are a good way of refreshing myself and my aims and increase my motivation um, and I feel like they're really important to just keep refreshing you know and, and make sure you're maintaining on that pathway to the end goal um, I also think it's vital to stay involved in the in football for myself um, you know it, it it's crucial that I'm involved in sport if, if I want to learn the degree about it and, and keep involved you know I have to stay involved in football uh, research done behind this by Choi and Min in 2018 states that uh, the psychological concept of sport involvement includes participation, perceived interest of an individual and personal importance of sport to an individual. So that kind of, kind of reinforces why I want to stay involved in football. Um, it includes participation, yes, I want to stay involved in football because I like being involved, you know, I enjoy having a kick about with my mates, sometimes playing 11 aside. Um, during the week as well, um, I also have a I have a real interest, and you know, it, it, football obviously interests me. Um, if I'm doing a degree about it, and you know, I coach for press in North End, um, it's pretty obvious that I have a, I've, I have a perceived interest, um, and it's got real importance to me as a sport. Um, you know, it's a way of keeping fit. It's a it it it's something I enjoy, um, and it's something I also like helping others with, hence being a coach. Um, the next question I asked was, how do I do it? <coughs> um, I feel like I have a lot of energy and charisma when I go into my sessions. It's, you know, high energy, lots of enthusiasm. You know, the players are, uh, are busy and I'm busy. You know, even if it's just impression management of looking busy and looking energetic. If I've not had a great day, I can still turn up and, and put on my face that I'm, I'm energetic and I've got, I'm very, very charismatic about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, I'm very approachable and friendly. I've found that recently where players are coming to me and asking me questions if they need help. Um, players are starting to ask, to, to kind of open the door to themselves and I'm asking them, how's your day? And they're actually starting to give me some, some deeper answers now. Um, I'm also quite motivating and empathetic. You know, I can put myself in the players' shoes. I've, I've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand the pressures and the the nerves that go into playing for a, uh, an academy but I'm also a motivator um, and this can be reinforced by Martin in 2020 who stated um, intrinsic motivation is associated with a task or mastery achievement orientation so I like to help them set them tasks and, and help them achieve the goals for example we use PMA which the players and parents can see where we where we highlight their strengths and weaknesses and give them targets so I am setting them targets and then on a weekly basis helping them to mo 
motivate them to achieve them towards their goals. Um, I'm also quite trustworthy and re reliable. Um, like I said before, the players are quite happy to have a chat with me now and, and talk about other things than football that they need help with, and I'm quite reliable. You know, I'm going to turn up to, to training on time uh, in early to prep, like to prepare for the session. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm reliable as a coach, I'm reliable as a, a, a friend and a person as well. And I feel like they're all really key aspects of almost a coaching framework, uh, personality wise, to have. You know, the really good set of ca characteristics that you can that can that you can use subconsciously almost. Um, the next question I asked myself was, who do I do it for? The again, like the previous f few uh, questions, there is a there is a water water surface answer, and that is obviously myself. You know, I'm trying to prove how far I can push myself, and kind of see what road it leads me down it, I think it'll be quite fun no matter where it takes me I think it'll be really fun and, and I'm going to obviously learn a few things along the way a few tricks of the train and also th some things that I'm going to take with me through life as well um, deeper diving a bit deeper um, <coughs> um, I do it for my parents um, they've always believed in myself no matter whether it's co coaching or playing uh, they've sacrificed time, money, effort, so I can excel. Um, taking me places when I didn't have a driving license so I could coach, buying me equipment for my one-to-one -one coaching business and then me paying them back. Just little stuff like that. And I feel like inside I have to pay them back with success and and hard work because that's what they've instilled in me. But I also do for the players. And I, th I, know that I think that's really important to not forget that. Um, I want to give them a positive experience of playing football to remember. I, I think that's really key because I think that if I can take anything away from my childhood football, what I wanted would just be to remember it with fondness and I want to give them that opportunity to remember it with happiness, enjoyment, fun and obviously some learning as well. Um, and there's one other person, my younger brother, um, who is... Um, a very good footballer but at, at academy level um, and I'm trying to show him that you can aim to be successful in sport without being a player there are other routes going down the degree route going down the qualifications route of you know your coaching badges or a degree um, you know you can become you can go into sports business and, and, and be the directors there are so many routes within football that I'm trying to show him other than actually kicking the ball but then three questions are really kind of helping me to delve deeper into why I do things. And I feel like the more and more I look into it, the more and more roots off the tree become, start to appear and and I start to uncover actually, you know, why, how and who do I do it for. And I, and I feel like it's it's been a really beneficial task to help me delve into my key motives into coaching.